Hey guys, today we're going to have a look at the extraction strategies for chitin. I'm assuming that you guys already know what chitin is, the basics. And this video is not going to go into a uh, lot of depth. It's just a broad overview. So let's get to it. So the chitin we uh, isolate from any source like crustaceans, fungi or insects. It contains uh, the composition varies with all the species. This is a general overview like uh, approximation. So proteins, it has some chitin, it has some minerals. The minerals is calcium carbonate basically. And the rest is some pigments. So let's have a look at the uh, different varieties of methods. So it can be divided into chemical, physical and biological methods. So if we talk about physical methods, the there are a lot of techniques, but the most common these days is microwave and ultrasound, which has the similar kind of advantages and disadvantages. So basically the damage to chitin is not that much. Yield is quite high, but there's energy consumption involved. So there's a lot of energy used. In case of ultrasound, the purity is less than microwave, but it's still in the same category. So it is also easy to perform. It's a green technology. Uh, we can avoid uses of uh, chemicals. We now get to chemical methods. So we have to study the chemical methods because these are the dominant uh, method which is in use. This is how all the process started. So we have been using this for many years. So when we extract chitin, so there's several steps. The first step is the removal of proteins, which is done by use of uh, alkali, typically NaOH at high temperature so as we can see the timing varies and the temperature can vary so this is how the protein is removed after that we have to remove the minerals which is basically uh, chemical uh, calcium carbonate so for this we use acid typically we use hcl and uh, whatever is left after this is the pigment so in case of fungi this step is not there because there is no mineral component in the fungi so if we talk about advantages it is fast is it cheap it is easy to control and results are consistent all these advantages exist because this is a process we have been using for many years so we know exactly how it works the disadvantage obviously is the toxic byproducts because hcl and NaOH they are reacting with a lot of things and all the byproducts have different properties they get modified and especially the proteins they get degraded which could have been used in uh, several other processes so let's talk about biological methods which are the every scientist hoping to use so they make use of enzymes such as chitinase lysozymes and several others so chitin is the specific enzyme that breaks chitin but some other enzymes can also break it. So advantage is obviously is there are no toxic chemicals. The bioactivity of the uh, chitin is also good because there is no such damage. The energy consumption and the solvent consumption is minimum. And the high value proteins that uh, that is inside the crude chitin, it is protected and the products are quite consistent. Uh, it varies with the type of chitinase used, but the for particular chitinase, the products are consistent. So disadvantage, like any biological process, it's quite slow process, takes time. So scientists are trying to find ways to find chitinase enzymes that can uh, make this process faster. This is a very active area of research these days, and obviously like any enzymatic system it needs a fixed range of ph and temperature to work usually it's mild it cannot tolerate the harsh conditions inside a uh, industries so now we have mixed techniques uh, some people are mixing and matching all these techniques like first they can use physical technique they use to the biological techniques so this is also something people are doing so this is all folks Hope you it helped you.